Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our budget kindred series and looking at kindred elves. Once again, elves, very, very popular, and yeah, elf synergy. So this is really the like main kindred, I feel like. Elves are also insanely good at this. So yeah, I'm actually doing two videos on the kindred sy synergy. I usually do one with most kindred that works with elves, not even close. I feel like I'm still cutting out so much. The main color is green, extremely useful and flexible. So they've got all kinds of buffs, all kinds of like, they're great for mana dorks, for ramp, for pretty much anything you need in a deck elves can do. This is the sixth video of the series on kindred elves. Again, we're or the Kindred Synergy, I should say, and we're going to do one more. So tomorrow I'm going to do a second video on this because I just couldn't, I couldn't narrow it down enough. What do I mean by budget? I mean two dollars or less. So as a rule on this channel, it's always two dollars or less, and sometimes I get under that even. This unfortunately was not. We're also now on Facebook, so if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. Or and if you want to contact me or ask you know give me any feedback or uh, any suggestions mtg nerd in korea on facebook so yeah number five all this war master one in the green so this is a two two when whenever one or more other elves enter the battlefield under your control again other elves it doesn't care if they're token doesn't care what yeah right there's a lot of ways to make elf tokens. Again, we have a different uh, token video, so I'm not talking about tokens exclusively here. But he'll make a 1-1 one, one elf every time another elf enters. And he doesn't care if it's cast or if it's like actually just a token. Any kind of elf enters under your control, you make one more. Alright, so this ability triggers only once each turn. Each turn is actually very nice because you could potentially make an elf token on someone else's turn and he'll also make an elf token. So in, like in commander or any kind of multiplayer thing, you can use other people's turns to do this doubling thing. But the main reason, 5 green green, elves you control get plus 2 plus 2 and gain death touch until end of turn. That's the real kind of like, that's why he's here. That is expensive, 7 mana. Elves, though, can ramp. Also, remember, this does not tap or anything. You can do this more than once. Also, at instant speed. So if you've got a ridiculous, like, what, 14 open mana, you can do this twice and give everything plus 4, plus 4, and death touch. Um, that's, you know, that's a win con right there, I think. Anyway, 58 cents. Number 4. This Dreadlord, so he's actually a black, so three black black for this three three with death touch. Not too shabby. Uh, I guess five is not great for a three three, but death touch I like. Anyway, so when he dies, uh, non elf creatures get minus three minus three until end of turn. Minus three is going to take out a lot of the board, right? Um, especially if you can like control when he dies, if you can sacrifice him or something, then great. But what really puts him over the top is Encore, 5 black black. That's expensive, but this is to win. Right? So anyway. <clears throat> so he is, he, you can uh, cast him for his Encore. You'll exile this from your graveyard. And um, yeah, you'll make however many players there are copies. So, or opponents. This is specified, yeah, opponents. However many opponents you have. You get copies. So in a game of Commander, you probably have three opponents, three copies of this, and they all sacrifice it on the end step, meaning all every other non-elf creature gets minus nine, minus nine. This is just gonna like take out the board, basically. Um, you do have to wait until your next turn, but probably by ne your next turn you can like just come in and finish it. So 26 cents. Number three, Gamfar Avenger. I one thing I really like about him is the just the casting cost. One in a black for a three-one. Whenever another non-token elf 
does have to be non-token, unfortunately. Or Berserker, you control does. Berserker, sure, why not? You draw a card and lose one life. This can be your card draw sorted very easily in an elf deck, right? Especially if you've got some kind of recursion where you don't have to worry about your things going to the graveyard. You can just be throwing your non-token elves at opponents and if they block and take them out, great. You're just going to like draw a card, lose a life, throw them back in the battlefield. Hey, good to go. It's kind of sorted for you, especially with black. You're probably doing Golgari, which is great with recursion. 23 cents. Number two. Ivar the Bellicos. Bellicos? I don't know. Anyway, another Golgari one here. Two, black green. Whenever one or more elves you control attack, they gain death touch until end of turn. Again, any elf, right? You're going to have all kinds of token elves, and this makes them into, like, removal, basically. Oh, oh boy. Each creature you control has, whenever a mana ability of this creature resolves, put a number of plus one plus one counters on equal to the amount of mana this creature produced. This ability triggers only once each turn. You only need it to trigger once each turn, right? Mm-hmm. Your, especially elves have lots of mana dorks that can make like three mana. So if you tap one of these mana dorks for three mana, they get plus three, plus three, like counters, permanent plus three, plus three. You don't have to do that a whole lot before you're just like, you've got this huge creature that's gonna, if it attacks, it's gonna have death touch, give it trample or start with something that has trample. And yeah, then you're pretty much good to go. Anyway, 152. Number one, Ember Watch Elf, uh, two and a green for this one, two, and you can tap it. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of elves in play. Again, in play, not you control, in play. Also target creature, any creature. You could potentially use this on someone else's creature if you really just want to get a whole bunch of extra damage through. Um, this is so flexible and like especially in if you're looking at commander or something where one of the win cons is going to be commander damage this is going to have you sorted right if you've got an elf deck you're going to have a pile of elves and this is just going to be like so much extra damage that you can probably take out you know you can take the game right there um you don't have to do a whole lot with this anyway 38 cents only The list. Okay, Elvish War on Master is 58 cents. Elvish Dreadlord is 26 cents. Kemphar Avenger is 23 cents. Ivar the Bellicos. Bellicos? I have. 152. Timber Wash Elf. 38 cents only. Anyway, take it easy.